Hello YouTubers, this is Fire Alarm Man 458 here. I am here with my uh, system test, I think six, I'm starting to lose count here. Okay, here it is, the panel. I finally did it. I have finished months and months of making, well, because we had to figure out and research a lot of stuff to make it, um, the panel. Now, no, it is not a microcontroller panel, which is probably what you guys would love to see. But, it is a relay panel. So, it has about three, about three relays in it. Here's the LMS7200 down here. Yeah, some things about it. Just going to be used for testing other stuff, and that's about it. So, yeah. I organized with keychain. <laughs> um... Well, I've made a lot of other changes other than the panel to the system. Um, I I hooked up my Wheelock 34T, I think that's what it's called, to the system. It works great, and it's loud. My loudest alarm. That are the other mechanical ones I have. Um, this Edwards Pulse Station, again, I forgot. It came as single action. But I think you can hook up maybe as dual action with that thing in there. Um, so, hook that up. I removed the BG-12 here. That's where it was where that horrible drawing is. Um, and everything's wired up totally differently because the panel, since it uses relays, it d doesn't depend on one pole station to do everything else. So, now I have this panel to depend on. Um, that's pretty much the same. I replaced the um, Ultra Warn. Lumbered Ultra Warren Alarm. Actually, the long lumber that I have now is... Oh, and the Edwards one, by the way. Sorry, I'm switching off here. Is the 277B-1120 pole station. There. I got the model numbers written down on that little sheet. And uh, the Lumbered Ultra Warren... Oh, you know what? I don't have that down. Uh, alarm is replaced by my Edwards Integrity speaker which only has the strobe hooked up because well I don't need to explain it anymore and the switch that used to be here for the Ultra Warn I took out um, that's pretty much the same um, I haven't the backyard system right now is disconnected uh, where's the wire that wire you say you see disconnected is the one that goes to the backyard. I have to mess with that a little bit. So I'm gonna do every single test. Oh, in case you're wondering, what the panel looks like on the inside. I'll open it for you. Da 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 da. Here is all the controls. You have a key switch for the power. We have a silent switch, which is basically a would be a, it could be a toggle switch too, but it's one of those. Decided to make it into a push on, push off button. The reset button, drill button, and trouble silence. Because you can see that's the trouble relay, trouble pizza, and trouble battery. And the trouble indicator. Indicators are power, normal, trouble, smoke detector, alarm, silence, and system trouble. The only one that is not hooked up is the smoke, because I do not have a smoke detector at the moment. This is um, timed test. Basically, you would um, flip the switch up into system trouble mode, though the light would only come on when the timer's on. You would turn the timer to your desired time, like that. Oh, light comes on even without the switch, but yeah. What the, the alarm would be going off right now if the switch is on. So, now I'm going to try out pretty much every feature now, because I've wasted four minutes already. So, first let's do a regular pull station test. Um, hold on a second. Okay, so I'm going to first try this out. This part's unlocked. So, here we go. What the heck? Oh, silly me. Hold on, let me do that over.
Okay. Now it's going to go off. <laughs> All right. I did that quick because that alarm is very loud. Oh, and this pizza, that white pizza was going off too, but you can't really hear it right now. Even though it is ran on 15 volts. And it says it's a 12 volt, but apparently they're lying. Anyway, so silence indicator's on, alarm indicator's on, normal is not, but power, as it normally would be, is on. So, I'm just going to reset this pulse station. And the strobes are still flashing. And if you wonder why, that is because it is audible silence. That's right. So, now I'm just going to reset it. And then you... This is what I call after reset acknowledge. It's what the LMS had except it's even cooler now. Now I'm going to pull the Edwards one. Okay. Okay. Um Where is that? Where are the keys? Okay, let's find the Edwards key. And give this a reset. The strobes are still flashing. Kind of a cool fact, really. Panel still in silence mode. You grab the key. I have to put the camera down a lot to do this. Now, reset and after reset acknowledge. Now, we're going to do regular test mode. You could just push, you could just go straight to reset if you do test mode, so. Um, we can do this mode. I'm not going to wait till the time's up. I'm just going to show you that the timer works. The difference between regular test and this, well, one thing that's time. Second thing is that the piezo does not go off in time test, so. Listen. <laughs> Oh, I just remembered you can silence it like that, too. So, um, I'm just going to turn the timer. Okay. Um, another thing you can do when this is in regular mode, I mean in um, time test mode, is you could do this. Then there's just regular stroke test, which is silence. So we're going to... Okay, reset. Reset that. Turn off the power by doing that. Um, you can't take the key out when it's in power mode. That's a safety feature. Trouble mode. Better do this quick. I've barely got much time left. Ugh, i got to move that. Now watch the trouble light. I oh, can't move. Now it's in trouble. Now let me just plug it back in. Now it's a normal. Um so that's about it for my system. So thanks for watching.